Hey everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for another soap making video. We are finally getting some cooler days, really bright, sunny, beautiful days, but cooler nights. Um, we're getting about 24, 25 during the day, and it's dropping down to about 12 degrees at night at the moment. That may not be cold to some of you, but for where I am, that is pretty cool. So today I am going to make a soap which resembles my favorite wintertime drink, and that is hot chocolate and marshmallows. Let's go. In my bucket I have my usual oil mix here and I have my lye water solution over here. I am still using my dodgy little stick blender because I just can't find another one that I really like. I'm just going to knock those air bubbles out of my blender here and then I'm going to pour my lye water just down my stick blender to stop any splash back and then I'm going to split it up for a couple of colours. So I'm all split out for the colours on this hot chocolate and marshmallow. Now because this fragrance oil has 9% vanillin in it, I am just going to do a very simple brown soap. And in this container here, I have some organic cacao powder. And what I actually want is to have a little bit of a layer on the bottom, which is really dark. And then I'm going to pour in some lighter colour. And then we're going to pour a little bit of white onto the top. And the white's not going to have any fragrance oil in it. Um, in here, I'm also going to add a little bit of mocha mica just to get that glycerin effect from out of this particular mica here. What I'm going to do is blend these colours in here, just push it down with the stick blender so it doesn't fluff everywhere. And then I'm going to pour all of my fragrance into my brown. Okay, so that is all mixed in. It's already starting to smell really nice. But I have my fragrance oil here. This is that hot chocolate and marshmallow that I got from the fragrance shed. I'm pretty sure it's the hot cacao from off of the Nature's Garden website. So if you are looking for it as a winter soap, this is smelling so far really, really good. Now when I worked out how much... Um, oil I needed for this bucket I did take into consideration I was going to take a whole heap out for my white and then I worked out how much I was going to need um, as a percentage for the rest of my bucket here. So we get all of that nicely stirred in and that is looking like a really nice hot chocolate sort of colour at the moment. I like a really dark hot chocolate and I think those Italian hot chocolates are simply the best. Unfortunately though these days I just can't drink them because of the chocolate and the milk in them. But I can still drink the... Um, the chocolate powders because they don't have any milk powder in them and I drink it with almond milk and it is just really really nice that almond milk adds a real nuttiness to a hot chocolate which is really good all right so I'm really happy with that I am going to go and grab the mold and I'm going to pour a bit of a layer on the bottom first do for that now this is staying really really fluid and I do need that to set up a little bit so I'm just going to leave this to the one side while that does its thing and I am going to do a little bit of prep work with this white jug so into my white jug here as I said I'm not adding any fragrance oil into it because it is so high in that vanillin and I do want this to stay white and I want it to look like cream on the top of our hot chocolate because of course you need cream on top of a hot chocolate too. So I've just added some of that in and I'm going to just give my stick blender a quick, oh no, <laughs> I'll give the stick blender a quick clean off as well as my spatula. <laughs> That is now all mixed up. I am starting to see that is starting to thicken up just a little. I don't want it really thick because I don't want to do a actual layer on here. What I want to try and make it look like 
is when sometimes when you get your hot chocolates in those nice tall latte glasses the very bottom of it is quite dark and then you have this lighter sort of chocolatey milky color on the top and then you have the cream all melted um, over the top of it so what I'm going to do in my big bucket here I'm actually going to add a bit of titanium dioxide just to lighten this one up a little bit we'll give that a little bit of a mix all right so it's not too much lighter in color I wasn't after a real heavy distinction there just enough that it gives that sort of illusion that that chocolate has all sunk down to the bottom of the cup we'll just get as much of that off my stick blender as I possibly can there and that should do get all these bits scraped down into the bottom of the bucket to make sure we've got a nice uniform color so it's not too much different but if I do sprinkle just a bit on the top I can see that we have got a distinction or a difference in color there so this should work nicely that is setting up a bit more so I'm not going to quite do a drop so I'm going to pour it down lowish I do want it to break through but then I also want it to sit a bit more on the top so now I've got that in there I'm working on the fly here now I'm just going to put that through there just very slightly across the top just to try and get it look to look like it is all wispy whether it works is a whole other matter and then I'm going to actually use my spatula to pour the rest of it so I don't get all of that darker brown on the top. Okay, so we are all scraped out and cleaned out for there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this white. It is still quite runny, which is what I want. And I'm just going to wiggle some of it down on here like so and then you'll just make it that a little bit wider I don't want it too even I'm going to grab my hanger again and I'm kind of just gonna do a very very small very very small shallow hanger swirl and I want that to look like the cream is actually melting into the top of the hot chocolate and then with the rest of this white I won't be using all of it I do have another project on the side where I need some white for some piping um, so I'm going to use enough of it to look like we've still got that cream sitting on the top of our hot chocolate here I'm just going to very gently spoon this on. This is a stainless steel spoon that I'm moving or using so that it doesn't actually interact with the soap. We've almost got all of our cream sitting on here. That should be enough left for my piping. Just make sure it comes right up to the edge. Right, so now that I've got all that cream on there, I'm just going to do just a little bit of a movement with the chopstick just to give it a little bit more interest there. And then we'll get to putting our embeds on. Right, so for the embeds, I have these marshmallows, which I made in the behind the scenes video um, just before this one. I will leave a link up in the top right hand corner for you so you can go and check out how I made them if you would like to. And all I'm going to do is I'm thinking I'm going to put three on each soap. So I'll put a pink, white and pink and then maybe on this one we'll have a pink and two whites. finished putting the marshmallows on here and I am really impressed with this fragrance oil it behaved really well it was quite slow moving to start with once it did start to thicken up it did move quite quickly but it did stay nice and fluid to start with um, I've just got some um, cacao nibs here and I'm going to pick up sort of that 
finer ooh, powder that's in here and just give it a little bit of a sprinkle. little bowl here I have some melt and pour which I have colored with some of that um, mocha mica and I'm just going to grab a little pipette here I'm going to pull some up and we're going to put a little bit of a chocolate drizzle on the top of it just to really finish it off and that melt and pour will also help to hold on some of those pieces of cacao nib I'm just gonna pull up a little bit more here that is looking really really yummy my mouth is absolutely watering usually things like um, food soaps and that sort of thing don't bother me um, but this one oh it smells so good it definitely does not have that chemical smell that so many of the chocolate fragrance oils has it really does smell like a good hot chocolate and just as one final little thing, I know it's not really a very hot chocolatey kind of thing, I do have some of this Blizzard Mica. I am going to give that a bit of a spritz because I really like the shimmer and shine that this Mica is going to add to the soap. And I am then going to bring you down for a closer look of our hot chocolate and marshmallow soap. So here is hot chocolate and marshmallow up close. I wish you guys could smell this through the screen. It is so good. I am loving that chocolate drizzle on the top and that blizzard mica is really picking up all of those marshmallows so well. I'm going to leave it sit here overnight and then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll cut it open and see if the design idea has come together. I am back to cut open the chocolate and marshmallow soap. It is smelling really good, just like a bar of chocolate. And I am loving the top on this one. But before I get it cut open, I thought I would share with you what our marsh marshmallows look like here in Australia. So this is what I have modelled them off. I actually double checked the back of the package on this one because quite a few of you told me in the making of the marshmallows that they're covered in a confectionery sugar. And these just aren't sweet. This powdered stuff is quite bitter when you buy into them and they are covered in cornstarch just to stop them from sticking but this is what our marshmallows look like so if I grab two of the ones that we actually made the pink is a little bit darker that I came up with but I'm really happy with how it pops up off the soap at that color I did I think the paler pink would have been completely lost so let's go and get this chocolate and marshmallow soap cut open right so I am all lined up on the cutter now I'll just make sure that not going to cut any of those marshmallows no it looks like they're all going to go so let's cut it open and see if I got that sort of design idea that I was after of having that darker chocolate on the bottom and the cream swirled through the top so almost there and there we go and we'll grab this piece from off the end here and that is what our hot chocolate and marshmallow looks like. I can already see that this one is going to discolor quite darkly because you can see that ring of brown around the outside but that is fine because this is exactly what I wanted for it to look like. I am quite pleased with how the top of it has swirled across there. It does look like that cream is melting down into it. The bottom's probably mushed up a little bit more or a little bit thicker than what I wanted, but that piece is exactly what I was hoping to get. Just that lighter one starting to dip into the darker side there. And that's that side there. And I really do love how it looks like that cream is just melting into the top of the hot chocolate. Here we go for another piece here. This fragrance oil is smelling really, really good. It's held well, so hopefully it will continue to hold during the cure. I am loving those marshmallows on the top and that sprinkle of blizzard mica is really making them shimmer and shine. And that little chocolate drizzle swirl from off the melt and pour just really finishes the top of these off. I think I am going to have to go and make myself a hot chocolate. So this is kind of more what I was aiming for to get that sort of darker bit on the bottom and then that sort of lighter dipping down and into it. So here is another piece. 
I hope you have enjoyed watching how I make my hot chocolate and marshmallow soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you've got any questions, I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you are interested to see how dark this soap is going to turn in about four weeks time, um, follow along with me on Instagram and I will post pictures of the fully cured soap. So thank you so much for watching and until the next video, I hope you have a great one. I'll see you then. Bye. <music>